Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my Ancestors tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on passing a generation and then doing a feat so that I can evolve my genetic potentials. Basically get three awesome abilities. So that's what I want to show and more importantly explain. Okay so if I lie down or if I just go to evolution what I have so far is these three special genetic matured mutations and you get them when you have new babies. This one has uh, the baby has become an adult so we're able to see what benefits Buck and this mutation will give us. It will give us a better metabolism for when we eat different foods. Over here I got two new uh, genetic potentials with two new babies but they're still babies so I need to now pass a generation to make them become adults whenever passing a generation always always make sure you have your full amount of babies that you're capable of having so if you have one couple that means you must have two babies if you have two couples four babies three couples uh, six babies uh, if you don't the game will give you another uh, so if you lose a female or big or you a baby dies eventually you will be able to get another female into your clan that's the way it works when you kill off your by accident if you kill off one of your babies or you lose one of your females you can't then have your full quota of babies <coughs> the game will eventually give you another female oops I didn't mean to do that give you another female which will be outside in the world for you to bring into your clan I believe there is a female outside in one of the trees I didn't actually want to do that let's just dismiss that right so let's pass a generation because I've got the four babies so I'm ready to do this Once I pass the generation, you'll notice these will tell us what they do. And I will show it this time because I skipped it the first time. After this, I will always skip. so 15 years later now I'm probably gonna have a lot of comments by this episode saying why don't I couple up both couples and have a baby with each couple and then give birth because in episode one I said to you one of your challenges is to pass through time by having a baby individually birthed without having two it means I pass more time. For each baby that I give birth to, it's 15 years added to the timeline. So at the top right, to the right of where it shows us the time of 1531, it says year 37. That's because I keep giving babies separate births. So I don't couple up both couples and have a baby with both couples and then give birth so both babies are born at the same time. I do them individually because then more time gets passed. And that's the whole point of it. You need to progress through time. So right, now that I've progressed a generation, if I lie down and have a look, you will notice two things. Number one, we still have this first uh, genetic potential. But know that the uh, baby that has this is now an elder. So we cannot pass any more generations, otherwise we will lose this mutation. These other two mutations have now, the babies have become adults, so it tells us LUT 
and the members of the lineage will have increased social abilities so the clan can be regrouped more efficiently. There are some very important abilities, normal abilities that you can get and special mutations that you can get to do with communication which one of them is being able to have your uh, your adults couple up automatically when you pass a generation very very useful this other one is also a communication KO and the members of the lineage will have a higher tolerance to stress and fear when facing adversity so that's going to help us when we're fighting creatures and conquering new territories so conquering our fear and expanding our clan territory so right now I'm in a position where I need to evolve in order to permanently keep these three um, special mutations and the way the area you do that is in evolution but before I can evolve I must a be in my settlement and B have an evolution feat. One thing to know about when you evolve, you will the game will change your settlement location. So at the moment we're at this hidden falls oasis. When I evolve, the game will take me and my clan to a new location. Every time you evolve it will switch your settlement locations. We will eventually, it, the game will switch us back to this location but possibly after going to five other locations each time I evolve. So to evolve I need to get a feat and the feat that I want to get is to bring in a new clan member, hopefully a female and let's have a look I want to use an elder elders are expendable as are adults once you've had babies but notice I don't have any babies so my adults at this stage are not expendable they have to have babies before they can become expendable this is an elder an elder is expendable that means I can kill them without any consequences and I know I mentioned previously I was going to end each episode with a death but I'm afraid I was getting too involved in explaining the genetic potentials and so it sort of made me forget to do that but I will eventually start ending each episode with showing a different way of dying which will be fun um, but anyway what we're doing now is we're looking for a female that we can bring into our clan. Up there with that skull will be the way I will end one of the episodes with a death. What can I say? Now let's see, where was that female? I'm sure I see her out in the branch really close. I don't know if she was female, she could be male. But I thought I see an ape out there on one of the trees. Must have moved away, maybe down to the ground. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, there, there they are. Right, so that will be my feat. Bringing that homonid into my clan. And hopefully they will be a female and then I can have six babies. So what I want to do is memorize them. Like so. That way now when I move, I can still see them. Right, let's go over to them. So I'm on a, I'm on a uh, elder. I don't care if they die. Elders are expendable. You need to get this into your train of thought. You need to get the fact that once your adults have had babies, they have. So you have your six babies. Your adults are then expendable. Now, this um, new possible clan member is going to require something. Either they're going to require food or they're going to require healing or they're going to need comforting. So the best thing I can do is actually go to them 
having some food and a healing item because then that's two chances of being able to get them depends on what their needs are we'll see when we go over to them they're either going to act scared or hungry or poisoned so what I'm going to do is here's the healing food that you can use for this purpose so we can oh, I'm going to have to inspect it I've got no choice I'm really steering clear from doing anything like that until I can get my uh, special genetic mutations evolved uh, but anyway I'm going to have to inspect so if you do the Y X button you'll inspect what you're holding you see it's got that dark mist around cloud around it so that's cat it's a very important herb in actual fact it gives us bone damage protection and it gives us cold protection so when it rains we won't take damage so one thing that I always do which you need to get in a routine of doing is always go to the tree which has this if there's one near your settlement and pick all of the items off of the tree because the trees re respawn regenerate whatever they grow they're going to regenerate so in this case this cat will keep growing so I'm going to pick it all now like so and I'm going to drop it in a pile stockpile as the game called it that way when I pass a generation this tree will regrow all of this cat and this is a very useful herb because you'll be using it a lot you can eat it in its raw form um, but then that wastes it doesn't last very long the buff that it gives you so we'll be turning it into a paste eventually to show you the that it lasts much much longer the paste for now though I just want to pick them all off I do this also for pineapple um, for coconuts coconuts are my favorite food to eat at the moment I can only use one hand but eventually I will get an ability which will allow me to use both hands that's in motricity so you've got different paths of neurons that you can grow you've got communication you've got senses you've got motricity you've got attack you've got defense uh, dexterity um, what else you've got metabolism so you've got different areas of the brain that you can grow different types of neurons to make you more clever or better at that particular in that particular area which gives you basically abilities which makes your survivability better so you can stroll through the jungle without a fear of dying eventually by creatures or elements I was trying to pick that one but I'm going to need to stand up to get that and I haven't got that neuron yet so that'll do okay so I, I've picked one of these cat and I'm going to take that with me to the um, hominid which is over there on the tree which I've remembered or have I forgotten them there should be a little triangle uh, it doesn't matter if it's forgotten them right so what I also need to do is take some food the best food I like to take is um, let's show you going to need to drop that cat oh and I can only carry one item at a time so I may as well do that first of all I keep forgetting I can't use both hands so I can't carry two items over to the hominid in the tree I'll need to do just one item at a time so it depends on what they 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 want either they're going to be scared hungry 
stressed we'll go find out and it's getting dark so let's sleep and then do it remember time is on your side the developer does give you a rather huge clue by saying time take your time that's what it is all about um, so in order to sleep I'm going to need to drop this so it won't give me the option and then I'm just going to lie down until it becomes daylight you'll notice I'm not worrying about their needs eating drinking uh, sleeping I'm having to do to pass it to daylight but I'm not worrying about any of their needs as in eating and sleep eating and drinking um, because I'm passing generations too quickly to worry about that I'm not worrying about picking up babies because I've explained why previously you don't have to bother doing that right let's go find this mate uh, this new clan member and hopefully join them into my clan in this episode so I can evolve there they are so I need to re-identify re-remember right now let's get to them it's usually best to go up high as high in the tree as you can because then that gives you more um, the higher you go the more chance you have of catching foliage or another tree as you fall down Right, let's go from here does it, it does take a little getting used to um, oh, I'm taking cold damage all of this takes getting used to but it is just so fantastic so when you jump if you keep the A button pressed you can actually catch the foliage and so you don't fall down um, if you're using the left stick and moving, so swinging, and you let go of that A button, you're either going to jump, jump in the direction you're swinging, or if you've just landed and you're swinging and let go of the A, you're going to fall. So be careful with that. Oh, another motricity. Let's see, where are they? Cool, there they are, you can see them. Which tree? Oh, they're off of this tree. Okay, so we need to climb up this tree. Oh, they're on that tree right so recruiting you can convince outsiders to join your clan by meeting their needs so that's what we need to do we need to figure out what their need is they can either be scared they can be hungry this one is injured so I need to give this one a plant which will injure broken bones let's try the cat if you do the right button, um, I'm new to controllers, I don't know what the button's called, but the right upper button will give. If they like it, they'll accept it, start eating it. There you go, I've got an ev evolution feat done, generous leader. So now I can evolve my clan. But I needed a feat. And remember, feats are precious, don't go wasting them unless you've got at least one uh, genet special genetic mutation from a baby now they will follow me I don't have to worry about where they are they will just simply follow me Yeah, so there's a, a coconut tree here. 
usually what I like doing before passing a generation is shaking the coconuts. You need to go halfway up the tree in order to see the option to shake. So let's give it a shake. You'll see four coconuts drop. There you go. So you should, should have seen four. And then what I tend to do with these is just drop them down to my settlement this tree, this coconut tree, is just above my settlement. I'll be showing you how to get up there. Because this is the best type of food you can eat. So you want to stockpile coconuts. Yeah, I know I'm taking cold damage. I don't care. You know, the elder is not going to die, he will take damage, but it just doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. He's, he's an elder, he's going to die when, when I pass the next generation. So he's just here to train, help my training. I use him for training, and if he dies, he dies. Simple as that. Right, so to get back to your settlement, you can climb down these vines, these roots. I could have actually jumped off of there. I don't think I would have died. Right, let's get over here. Out the rain and bring my new clan member in. Because I need to do some evolving. And what I will do now is actually switch to them and see why they're her. So she is a female call, so now I can have six babies. So if I switch to them, so they got some bone damage, which can be healed with the cat or them plants. But what I want to do, let's heal her, actually, let's go get another bit of cat. And then I'll evolve. Oh, she's she's gone already. So some of the, the the things that you get, like poisoning, certain types of poisoning will just go after a while, like bone certain bone damage, unless it's bad damage. In other words, the icon that appears for that type of damage is red. Red will bleeding, you'll bleed out. Poisoning, you'll die of poisoning. Um, but if it's like that broken bone eventually just passes right so I haven't got any babies you'll notice but that's okay because evolving uh, will still I will still have adults after evolving but what I would recommend is before evolving you do have babies now the thing is though if I have babies I will not be able to get their special mutations because one of my mutations the baby is an elder so I need to evolve. So I'm going to evolve without having babies. So let's do it. So these three here, remember these are the, the ones. Notice they have this little glow around them once they've become adults. See these two now have started having that little glow. I have a feat completed so I can now have the option to pass uh, to evolve. So you're probably asking the question, when should I evolve? I've already answered the question, when should you pass a generation? You should evolve when you have a special genetic mutation and the baby is at the elder stage. That is when you should evolve, every time you have one. So let's do this. When evolving, the spontaneous mutation neuron, neurons not carried by adults or elders will be lost, you see, so it tells you there. Uh, but they will reappear through future births. So they're not gone forever, but I like to build them up. So I'm evolving. It's all about passing through time. So there's the one that I've got befriended. 
So just a small ev evolution leap, but every time I do this, get more special genetic mutations, I'll be getting more abilities and passing through time to, to get to a to Millennium Man, which will give me even more abilities. So you can see it's all about time. Death, you'll notice, took was negative. It took us back 25 years. Births take you forwards in time. So a death, when someone dies, you, you go back in time. When you have births, they counter that by taking you, progressing you forwards in time. So I'm evolving faster than science. You have moved through time to 9,942,913 years BC, before now, and will be brought back to the world to catch up with your lineage. It might be you still have some confusion with this. Don't worry, it will all become clear as we progress. See, I'm at a new location now. So when you evolve, know that your settlement location will change. It basically revolves around settlements within the jungle, different settlement locations in the jungle. The clan and a new settlement. When a new settlement is established, all clan members who weren't following you are staying where they were and they will have to be gathered or they may be lost. But all is not lost because you can, um, the game will spawn new hominids out in the forest for you to bring into your clan. But you can only get to a maximum of 20. 20 hominids in your clan. That's your maximum. Right, let's get busy getting more babies. Babies are our future. They're the way we improve. They're the way we get these special neurons. So that's an adult female. What am I? I'm an adult female. So it'll do me no good trying to mate with them. There we go. That's who we want. Let's groom. Right, so we've got a couple. Before I uh, do that though, let's explain the benefits of why I just evolved. Right, I'm going to have to find a sleeping spot. I don't want to build a sleeping spot because that will waste an evolve feat. I think we get a feat of evolving for doing that. And I want to save that until I've got some special genetic mutations to evolve. Like I say, the feats are precious. I know there's probably plenty, but in order to evolve, you have to have a feat completed. I don't like doing more than one feat for each evolve. We've got a lot of time to get through, eight million years. So we're gonna need lots of feats. The three types of feats that you get, you get feats for exploring. In fact, if I'm gonna find this blinking bed, oh I know, what am I doing? Duh, easy way is just to use in the intelligence. And that will help me find the bed. You always start with one bed. Because one bed is what makes it a settlement. Without that bed, it is not a settlement. The game does tell you that that is the basics of every settlement is a bed. But where is the blinking bed? OK, 
can be a little tricky sometimes getting all oh there's the timer oh let's see if i can find this bed first before i end the episode they look like little straw mats just have to make a bed and waste the feet actually no because I can do the feet and st then get the babies all right so let's do that I'm um, gonna have to make a bed because I can't find a bed there is a bed here somewhere but I don't know where it is what I'm gonna do for future I'm gonna make a bed in a really simple place to find it that's what I like to do so let's drop that there Strange though, because normally it puts the bed right by where you spawn in. So I don't understand why I can't find a bed here. Anyway, let's make this bed. So by stacking these leaves on top of each other, stack them oh because I need to inspect it that's why I don't understand what it is basically so I need to inspect it to understand what it is in order to use it then as a tool for making beds natal grass that's what it is now that I understand what it is I can stack it Construction. Some items can lead to construction possibilities when in a stockpile, depending on their number. So because I've stacked that on top of that, if I stack another one, I should get a construction option to make a bed. Um, now it might be, I might be able to find the bed now that I've... No. No, still no sign of a bed. Oh well, let's do this. So I'll get a third one. Should be able to build the bed now. Oh, so I've got to do four, of course. Uh, you can get abilities that you then need less items in order to make that construction. So I'm too used to having it only need two or three. Let's put that on there. Okay, now you see I've got the option to construct, so let's construct. There you go. Discovered new action, building. Various constructions can improve your settlement. And so that was my objective. I've got a new objective now to form a couple. And I'm going to end the episode here because the timer went. It's so easy for me to get carried away. But there we go. Uh, let's quickly show what though the benefits of evolving did for us. Here we go. We've now unlocked these three special um, potentials. The first one was metabolism. So now we've got nutrient absorption. More energy is gained per food portion. So every time we eat some food, I will now all of my clan members will get more energy from each piece of food we eat so we need to eat less food in order to fill up our energy isn't that cool and it unlocks further neurons as well one of the communication special mutations social confidence a call to gather all clan members now has a wider range so you'll remember a few, an episode 
a few episodes ago when I did my clan call some of the adults and elders were out of range so they didn't follow me this will enable them me now to call to a further area and here's another communication one willpower um, all threats induce less fear so when I'm going through the jungle and there's an aggress there's a, a predator I'll get less fear meaning I can fight more or evade more so what did that ev evolution do for us it gave us these three new abilities which now will permanently be with us and now my next goal is to get more we want to fill this up with them these special mutations I'm not even worrying about these normal white mutations you'll notice I'm not even thinking about them or caring about them I am focusing on is getting these these are where your power will eventually make you super powerful as you'll see everything will become easy wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye